he wasn't happy with last week's result against Houston. And uh, I think the players got the result of it, right? You've been in that situation. Monday and Tuesday weren't easy situations for their players. Chris Asmus, our referee, and we will get this underway. The Toronto Arrows playing from right to left on your screens in the blue and white jerseys. First strike with his right boot. He's hit it well. Flags go up, and there it is. Rugby Canada program. Pet free kick awarded to the Arrows. We're only going to reset the scrums once here, and then you have to take your kick. So quick tap. Really good hands. Kelly goes over the top. It's backwards from LA. Spilled again, but backwards said the referee. Meeks, Meeks takes it over the 40. On the left foot, well blocked. By the arrows. This crowd are dying to get into this match. Every positive action is well supported. Giltini's just trying to put phases together, but they are pummeled back. And again, another block kick. What a bounce for the captain. After 984 days, line with some really good line speed, unabated to the kicker, no one obstructing, getting in his way, and he gets good hands, hitting belly maybe on this ball, and <laughs> sits up nice and a little half dive uh, on the hard turf for a, a nice seven pointer. Mike Shepard's worked so hard in the offseason, his fitness. Yeah, I think you're going to see a, a strong middle jump, I was just about to say, and they're going to go for this mall. They're a strong mauling team and uh, a big, heavy team at that. David Dennis takes it and stopped for the moment, and there's the big man, Andrew Chuala, 5'11", but 278 pounds. He's on the back of this tank moving forward. The Giltinis are on the roll. Billy Meeks joins the backs are coming in. It goes down. Is that going to be a penalty? The arm is out, advantage being played to the men in black. Tuala has another go for the line. And finally it opens up. Quick pick. I think it may be Angus Cottrell. Referee's going to have a quick question. I'm not sure if he saw the ground. Not having a penalty try there. Yeah. I'm wondering what he's looking at here for the grounding because it looked pretty clear for me. He, he saw the ball go over the line. But he doesn't know if there was a knock on previous. So let's see here. He stopped short and a quick pick. I think it's Cottrell, is it? Yeah, it's Cottrell. He got it right on the line there when we see this replay. And, and he's tall, so he's going to play it in multiple different spots on this team. Well, he's won the penalty there, and that gives this attempt to Spencer Jones. And he's made it. The flags go up. I'd like to see when someone going up and make a big shot. Someone get someone going. They look comfortable. Maybe that 75 degree weather has been good. Will Kelly strike sweet and pure through the middle. Relentless tackles coming in from the Toronto Arrows. Wide, flat, there's space. There's a try. Great vision. Great awareness, and it will be Will Chambers finally gets a bit of space, and he takes his try. That pass really well done, and you know we're seeing a, a, the expansive part and the very skilled part of the Giltinis here. Sinman, keep in mind that try was scored with one man short. The Giltinis have a man in the Sinman who's just about ready to take the field. That's a sweet strike, a nice kick, and it is. There go the pink flags. What a break. Canadian qualified, great news again. All players being found. In possession. Midfield. Coach Stephen Hall's got to be very happy with this second half response. I know he wanted them to, they feel they lost the fight. Maybe he got knocked around a bit last week. Right through the middle. Quick pick and go. And the offload. The arrow scrambling. It's going to be a try for the scrum half. Harrison Goddard. The Giltini's onslaught continues here. I think it was Dugood who got that front foot, but you see Corey Thomas head up, sees the space in front of him, injects it, really good carry, offload, and then when you get that guy the ball, he is a class finisher. Untouched, walk in. They're now separating and creating a bigger lead. I know Waza back in uh, Perth, Australia. He's a big Gordon supporter. He's 90 years old. I know he's watching because he sent me a message um, how much he loves Gordon uh, and all the guys that represent Gordon abroad and across the world here. They spelled it. That maybe sums up the second half here for the Arrows. And that will do it. 
The champions of MLR have won this one 31 points to 16 over the Toronto Arrows.